More than five months now after the old Kmart that breaks up Nicollet Avenue in Minneapolis went up in flames, that site is ready now for redevelopment. Today, the city of Minneapolis will outline designs for the future of that area. The vision is to make it a safe, walkable space that rejuvenates the neighborhood. Saquon joins us live this morning with a preview of these proposed plans. Good morning, Say. Hey, good morning to you guys. Yeah, actually, city leaders, they have held similar meetings here just this past fall. And since then, they tell me they've really been uh, honing into the feedback that they've been getting. And today's meeting is really all about that. They're going to be providing an update to the community. Uh, and they're also going to be uh, laying out their top priorities as this project really starts to take off here. Now, a massive fire at the old Kmart building back in October kind of helped to speed up the demolition process for the city. And then by November, it was a complete completely different picture. Today, this site sits empty and it's nothing but a fenced off concrete parking lot. So city leaders are working on what's called the Nicollet Redevelopment Project. We've talked about this in recent months and they plan to transform this site into a high density mixed use walkable area while also reopening Nicollet Avenue between Lake Street and Cecil Newman Lane. A lot of the work they've been doing has been done behind the scenes as they've conducted several traffic and shadow studies and then looking into the pros and cons of each concept. And the main ideas people have suggested are a green space in a community park or recreation recreational space with paths for walking and biking, as well as having that transit connection restored through the site. Now, Kelsey Fote, the senior transportation planner for the city, says they are listening. They do plan to incorporate all of that. And the site is also very close to Eat Street. And Fote says small business owners in this area are very well connected to this project. You know, overall, they're very excited about what we're doing from what we've heard. Um, they're excited that the street could be reopening, that they could see some additional traffic or foot traffic, people on, in, on bikes and on transit, you know, all types of folks coming through this area, um, visiting their businesses, uh, visiting those Eat Street businesses that are really a key part of this community. So we still need to wait a little bit to see all of these changes in this new and developed space. Vote does tell me construction on the street is set to start in 2025 before developing that public space. So again, leaders are going to be providing an update on their studies and their recommendations, as well as taking more feedback from the community today. Uh, that meeting is set for 5 o'clock at the Abyssinia Cultural Center off of Westlake Street. Back to you guys. Yeah, and a development that's been a long time coming, yeah. for sure. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.